Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera. Welcome to another live color along. Today's our last color along for volume 14. I cannot even believe it. So this is, uh, this is monumental, I guess, right? Uh, last color along for volume 14. Next week, we begin volume 15. Um, if you have, um, I'm going to keep saying this over and over throughout this video, too, because I want to make sure that I don't miss anybody. But if you have a copy of Color Along Volume 15, we will continue to, uh, we will not be meeting in a private group. However, um, if you have that copy and you would like to be added to my personal email list so I can get in touch with everybody, um, just in case there's changes or different types of announcements, or even just reminders that, hey, best guess what, tomorrow there's a a live color along, um, then send me a message, let me know you have the book, and I will add you to that list. So I'll be creating that email list over the next few days and be getting my first email out to everyone over the, the next few days by the end of the week um, about Color Along Volume 15. And if you have not gotten this book, the coolest part about this book, it's cooler and cooler every time I say it, is that... Um, this book has all brand new pages that have never been, uh, that are never made an appearance in any other book. So this book was created exclusively for this color along book and it is horizontal, which I like a lot. A lot of people have commented about that. And we're going to be doing some interesting things with color along volume 15. This is my list of, uh, color along tutorial topics, which you'll find in the first, in the front of the book. Let me see if I can find it here in a better version. Here we go, right here. Um, so we've got a lot of things going on, a lot of things happening over the next uh, couple of months or even just the rest of September. So we're going to talk about uh, what's happening uh, with new books that I have coming out. We're going to talk about uh, what's happening with um, color alongs, with other types of tutorials that are happening. We're going to talk about coloring camp that's happening in October. Um, I've got a coloring workshop that's coming up this Wednesday. It will be live on YouTube. Um, so we'll talk about that. We have a lot to go over. So maybe we not need to start having someone like create meeting notes or something that we can share with the rest of the world. I don't know. So this has a cool, a lot of different things. Blending with colored pencils, mixed media. This is volume 15, chalk pastels, highlighters and colored pencils, uh, pointillism, grayscale with colored pencils, creating patterns, glitter gel pens, markers. Uh, we'll be going over a tutorial with uh, complementary colors. Sepia, wordless colored pencils, creating textures, uh, oil pastels, the glowing technique, that'll be cool. Tie dye, that's always a popular one. Grayscale painting with watercolors, uh, silver and gold, that's going to be fun. Uh, pop art, watercolor pencils, Van Gogh style, and colored pencils. I don't know why there's a um, a little bit of a shakiness to my camera. It shouldn't be doing anything unless the unless we're having an earthquake. <laughs> I don't really know. So, um, so take a look. This book, I, I'm excited about this. 22 pages to color, which comes with 22 video lessons. The other day, it, I don't know why after 15 volumes, it finally occurred to me that the it works out to about 68 cents per coloring lesson. So I don't know where you can spend 68 cents anymore. I mean, you can't even buy a pack of gum for 68 cents, right? So um, I think it's a, a deal and, um, there'll be some inter interesting information coming out about this. So stay tuned. So it's really important that if you do have this book that you get in touch, if you want to be, kind of be in the know about what is going on, I will post everything on Facebook also, but this way you don't, you don't miss anything. So for today, we are working on volume 14. So before we get started, I know it's a little bit early guys. My clocks are all off today. I don't know what's going on. It's a weird day in the world, in the neighborhood. Let's say good morning to everyone. Good morning to Rosie and Sarah and Lynn and Sharon and Carrie and Mary and Alice and Jean. Romper room has begun, right? So we are coloring uh, today. I hope everyone can hear me, right? Can you hear me, Lynn and Rosie? Um, we're coloring these, my, these pages from my book called Mighty Mandala's Coloring Book. And today is all about textures. And I'm glad that... Um, I'm glad that Alice is here today because Alice does a great job when it comes to creating textures on her coloring page. I am going to pivot my page a little bit so that it is in the horizontal uh, orientation. And I have a few things with me today. First of all, I do want to pop, hey Marianne, a uh, page underneath my coloring page. 
I have uh, Crayola Twistables with me today. Thought that would be fun. I haven't used them. Thank you, Rosie. Haven't used them in a while. And the other day I was at Walgreens and I noticed that the wall, I don't know if it was every Walgreens that was doing this. Thank you, Lynn. I don't know if it was every Walgreens that was doing this, but the Walgreens that I was at had this. And I did go to another Walgreens for, to search for more and they did not have what I thought they had, thought I was, what I was looking for. But anywho, I had, um, I purchased these Bic Intensity Fine Point Markers. I mean, they're not as fine as you would think, but they kind of have a little bit of a chisel tip. I love the colors, and they were 70% off, so I got them for 89 cents. So I, I was ready to buy 10. I don't know how they are so far. I haven't really used them, but I, um, hey, good morning, Bonnie. Um, but I, um, I, maybe I bought them only because they were 89 cents. Do you ever do that? Do you ever buy things that are just like, I'm buying it just because it's on sale? I don't really need that, but because it's a, because it's a dollar, I'm going to buy it. You know? I don't know. I, I think we think we all do that. So we're creating textures today, and um, the best way that I like to create a texture, or textures, or textures, as they say here where I live, um, is to put tape, because I love tape, right? So I'm going to actually put some more tape on here so we can see what the, what the deal is. I'll use my my green tape that Lynn Miller sent me. Thought it was so funny when I got this, these rolls of tape. A deal, right? A deal, Bonnie. So I went back. I, apparently all the school supplies were 70% off. And then they had like summer stuff that was on sale. Buy one, uh, 50, 70, was it 70% off? I think it was 70% off. Um, it was just crazy, the deals. So I'm just creating this kind of textured rubbing plate, I guess you could call it, by adding um, tape onto this little, this is just like a, um, you ever buy like an aluminum pan and it comes with a cardboard cover, which I always think is like, I don't even know why they do that. Should have an aluminum cover, not a cardboard cover. It always gets a little mushy to me. So just going to create all of these different, um, different things here. So while I'm creating this little rubbing plate here with this tape, let's talk about Wednesday. Wednesday, I will be live on YouTube at 10 a.m. I'm doing a skin tone coloring workshop. Um, a lot of people have asked me to do it. So um, I do not feel comfortable actually drawing faces. So we've got some illustrations from photographs type thing. Um, on Wednesday, and you can get the PDF, which is three coloring pages, on my website for $5.99. It's free to watch on YouTube. Um, you'll probably have to sign in, which, not probably, you will. You will have to sign into your YouTube account in order to to comment on the video, just like we comment here live on Facebook. So if you, um, what do you think? I mean, I know that Jean had mentioned that she liked YouTube better. Um, so, um, we're going to see how it goes. Um, I know that people are getting frustrated with the new Facebook layout. So what do you all think about the YouTube, uh, watching? I know that the best part about YouTube is it's a lot of people watch it on their TV. Um, when they do a lot, I watch a lot of tutorials, a lot of, um, I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch more YouTube than I watch regular, um, TV. It's amazing what you can find on YouTube. So I'm just creating this little plate here. I'm going to pop a link um, to the um, the workshop. Let's see if I can get it here. Oh, kind of in a twisted way here. Um, I'm gonna pop a link to the uh, the PDF for the um, skin tone coloring workshop on Wednesday, and. In the description of the PDF, you'll see a link to the YouTube, where the YouTube video will be held. So <clears throat> take a look at that. So skin tone, even if you just wanna look at it, uh, I have to be quiet while I type. Can't chew gum and walk at the same time. Hey, good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Trish. Good morning, Mamie. I knew you said good. 
even though it said hood. You think the new face looks horrible? You know, are you looking at it on a, um, Jean saying that, is she, are you looking at it on a um, desktop or a phone? I'm going to tell you something that is, is rolling around in my head right now. I mean, I don't know if this is a scary thing to say or not, but I'm going to go out, go and I'm going to go out on a, on a limb, the limb of a tree here and talk about it. I would like to move Color Alongs, starting with Color Along Volume 15, to live on, live on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you the reason for that. Um, people have two reasons for this. One of them is that Facebook um, is giving a lot of people a hard time, like Gina's saying that it's horrible. A lot of people are struggling with it. Uh, the other reason is that I'm using uh, Twistables, Trish, and I've got uh, Bic Intensity markers that I bought for 89 cents, so it's a deal. Um, <clears throat> the other reason is that Facebook is going to be uh, not allowing musicians to um, stream live, stream their concerts or their performances live on Facebook anymore. Sandra knows about this because I saw her post about it um, when I was looking at it, and... Um, that just tells me that what's next. So I would love to move Color Belongs over to YouTube. So, but I don't want to make it so that it's confusing for everyone. Um, I don't want to, um, I want to make it as easy as possible. I would also love to move camp to YouTube. So um, I just want to do things um, and whatever decisions I make when I'm trying to move something and make a change in what's happening, please remember that it's always uh, in everyone's best interest and always there's always a real good reason why there's never just like oh I think I'll just do that you know so it's always a, uh, a a reason Lynn is making a comment YouTube or zoom work so that is a good segue Lynn into the next thing that I was going to talk about so um so we've got the coloring workshop coming up on Wednesday hope you can join me for that this Friday night it's 7 p.m eastern time I have a live um a class, live class for painting, a painting uh, class. And we're painting a covered bridge, which Sharon reminded me, looks just like the covered bridge in Bridges of Madison County. And Sharon said to me, <laughs> Sharon, I'm gonna tell you, tell them what I, what you said to me. And I'm gonna start coloring here with, as I place my blending, my um, coloring plate underneath it, my, t my texture plate underneath it. Um, Sharon said, it's all time favorite movie. Do you, have you ever watched it? Have I ever watched Bridges of Madison County? I think I could, I could uh, perform the, the, I could be one of the lead characters. Has anyone else ever seen Bridges of Madison County and think the same thing? Um, so we're painting a covered bridge on Friday night. It's 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's $15.99 for the class if you're interested in it. And it is template based. And if you would like to get your feet wet with painting, this is a really good way um, to kind of jump in and get your feet wet with painting. So um, for those of you who have taken painting classes with me, you know, you can attest to that it's easy peasy. It's not difficult. Uh, you've never seen that, Lynn? Oh my goodness. Then you need to watch it. Bridges of Madison County. You're gonna want to be just like engrossed in Francesca's world. Right, Sharon? I think I, I can't even tell you how many times I've seen that movie. Between that and um, the American, an American President and what other crazy movies are there that I've seen a million times? Well, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. I mean, I could probably steal Magnolias, even that one, right? Um, so I'm going to start out with red, why not? And I'm going to color on top of where I place my tape. So back to Lynn's comment about Zoom. So here's the, th here's the deal with Zoom, is that um, I'm offering private art lessons. A lot of people asked me about it, actually three people. I'm gonna say that's a lot. Hey, that was a lot. I was surprised that anyone was interested, to be honest. Um, so I'm offering private art lessons, and if you go over to my website and you click on patrons, the link for patrons, it's basically a membership, and I mean, it's like having a membership, and it's a monthly, you can either take a class that is once a month, completely, um, completely, um, I'm laughing at Sharon's comment, I know, really. You've never had 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 an experience, a Francesca experience, Sharon? A secret happening like that? That is amazing though, that movie. It's so real though, it does happen to people. 
Um, so anyway, private classes, it's completely tailored to, to the individual, whether they want to work in, um, whether they want to learn how to paint or they want to learn how to draw or they want to, whatever they want to do. Um, and it will meet in a Zoom room for the painting classes. So if you're interested, I mean, for the private art lessons. So you can either choose from one time a month, one class a month, or um, you can choose from, Mary's saying TMI. How come, Mary? Too much information. Which part? Am I giving you too much information or is um, the Francesco uh, experience too much information? Oh, Sharon, this is getting juicy. Uh, anyway, you can choose from one time a month or two classes a month. Anyway, if anyone's interested, I've sent out informa information, emailed everybody information about private art, art lessons. That for those that commented that they were interested in it, I sent out an email yesterday. Take a look at that. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, back to the call along and to this crazy conversation that we're having having where Sharon is channeling her inner Francesca. Bonnie Hughes is saying, we toured the house in Iowa where it was filmed. Ooh, it was very interesting. We got our picture taken in the bathtub that Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep used. Did, like the real bathtub? Did you actually sit in it? Oh, the Francesca experience is TMI? I know, we don't really want to know. I, I don't, we don't want to know. I agree with you, Mary. We don't want to know what the Francesca experience is. Sharon's not going to tell anyway, so... She won't tell. I know she won't. She'll keep her lips zipped about it. That is a good movie, though. I really kind of felt bad for her, though. Don't you? Didn't you feel bad? Don't you feel bad for her when she leave? When the husband leaves, and she's just kind of like I don't know. I thought there was a bug crawling across the table <laughs> just now. You want to know what it was? It was. I'm ha I have my iPad in front of me. I've, I've had a day of like a bu of bugs. I have my iPad in front of me and I can see my own video. And as the twistable rolled, I saw it on that other screen and it looked like a bug was running across my desk. Oh my goodness. I don't know, crazy. So a lot of kids went back to school. Well, the kids in this state went back to school today. So I feel like the energy of the, the energy around me is different. Do you feel a different energy? Sharon, Sharon's in the same state as me. I feel like the energy out there is different. Just hoping that everyone is okay. It was heart-wrenching, wasn't it? <clears throat> I think I cry every single time I see it. Ooh, it's in the vault. Sharon. Well, interesting, isn't it? All right, so now I'm going to put actually some purple on top of this, and what it will do is kind of go in between. It's like it magically goes in between where the blue did not hit the paper. Does that make sense? As I'm coloring on top of it. I have to find something else to watch on TV though. We, we really need to, we talked about starting like a list in the coloring group about what to watch. We, we, I need to post it so people can comment because I'm like stuck on the YouTube, the YouTube section, the YouTube, I don't know, circle. I've been watching um, just YouTube videos. I've been watching this video about these uh, tiny homes where you can go buy a tiny home in Tennessee and live on a little community of tiny homes and uh, live next to people and I, I don't know. I don't know if I would want to do that. Caddyshack. I've never seen Caddyshack. Can you believe it? Never saw it. It's very emotional. You're right, Bonnie. Sharon says, it's scary. I don't know what I would do if I had kids. Hard to decide whether or not to put them in school this year. Um, very hard to decide. I have family that is, that are teachers, so that started today, and family that are kid, are students that started today. So, to me, it's very um, it's scary, you know, wondering what is happening. 
gives you the chills, doesn't it? I don't know about you guys, but I have seen so many spiders this summer in my house. Well, this morning I started my day out with that big gigantic bug with the many legs that scares me to death um, that was in my bathroom as I was brushing my teeth. I just happened to look up into the mirror and look over it behind me and there it was up in the corner and I completely froze and realized that. And I won't go into the details about what happened after that, but um, it was just crazy that there's a lot of bugs lately, you know? Lynn says, with kids back in school, maybe art supplies will be will all be on sacred <laughs> You know, maybe they will. Um, maybe they will. I think I've seen a lot of art of a lot of school supplies at a deep discount though, Lynn, because of people. Well, I mean, in a store, I think more people shop online, so maybe not. Maybe that's why everything's kind of discounted in a store. Um, yeah, maybe I do need Terminex for no spiders. Andy, you still have Netflix? Bonnie's asking. I do. can't answer um i do still have netflix and um i tried watching that show away we were ignoring the phone i tried watching the show away i couldn't do it i could not do it i felt like i was traveling to mars <laughs> and i didn't want to be there isn't that weird it's like i'm on my way to mars and i don't want to go i don't know what it was it was really just like not I didn't like it. I can't find anything, find much good to watch on TV, Alice is saying. Me neither. The other night I realized that I was watching TV and I was flipping channels and flipping through YouTube and trying to find something to watch for a good, oh, I don't even know, maybe half an hour? Oh, Mr. Holland's Opus, that is a good movie, Mary. You're right. You are right. All right, so we've created this texture here with just this kind of rubbing plate, okay? So now you really could place anything underneath it. I have um, on my desk this um, car, car plastic, I think it's called. It's like corrugated cardboard. Kind of, kind of hear it. So I'm actually going to flip my book over and use this corrugated cardboard and see what type of texture I can get with that. And I'm going to start out with a uh, darker blue. And it is kind of giving me um, some lines as I move along. Now, I could pivot so the lines are all in the same way, so same direction, but I'm not going to do that. The Masked Singer in Dancing with the Stars. Queen. What is Queen? I try to end up, I end up watching stuff that doesn't have um, commercials. You know what show I really end up uh, find myself watching a lot, which I don't know why, is that American Ninja with those people that do like these crazy obstacle courses or that other show, I don't even remember the name of it, but it's like um, with all these guys and they're trying to like, well, there's women too, but they are, they're supposed to be like lifting heavy things. What is the name of that show? It's not Ultimate, I don't know, I don't remember the name of it now. Isn't that crazy? What is Queen? Yeah, Yellowstone is an excellent show, according to my friend Sharon, and I have not have not been able to catch it. Have not watched that show at all. All right, now this purple, I'm a little disappointed because it does kind of look like that blue, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use yellow for this middle section. There we go. And then I will put a little bit of some orange in the middle here. Now, it kind of created a little bit of a different texture as I went to this orange area, only because of how the, the, the texture was created in the background. All right, now, let's move on to the next two. Pop this paper behind it, though. 
and use these Bic Intensity markers. Thank you, Alice. So I have a new book coming out this week, hopefully. <laughs> I say hopefully because I never know the date. I mean, you send it in, you kind of hold your breath and you wait. Um, it's my Gnomes book. It's called Gnomes Coloring Book. It'll have 24 pages to color and it will be um, on Amazon soon. There's a free page you can get on my website today, actually. Um, and I'm excited about it. Did you guys see that book? It's a little Parker Extreme Sports Upper and Lower Body Strength and totally awesome to watch. Yes, that's the one, Trish. It's awesome. But this was a different one, actually. This I thought this was new. Is it Vin Diesel? Is that his name? It's, um... It's in it. It's like the host. The one that the, with the obstacle course is incredible. You just think to yourself, are they human? You know? All right, let's go with pink. And, oh, I don't want to put this rubbing plate back there. What am I thinking? But I am going to create um, texture with just the actual marker. These mar markers are okay. And I say that because if you press really hard or if you press down on the paper too much, they get like, um, you know, when the ink starts to pool and the, the paper starts to like clump up a little bit. So I don't really like that part of them, but the 89 cents. And I, I don't know how much they were originally because they were on sale, marked down. It was just like a bunch of deals. And then you can go back in with another color I'll use blue and I'm going to just add some some blue dots into the middle of it but boy is it really like the ink is really like spreading pooling as they say and then for this outer portion here I'm going to leave that alone for a little bit this one right here I'm going to just add some fine well some little lines so the lines will create a little bit of a texture. And I'm kind of making them a little bit jiggly. Notice I'm not turning my page. I'm just leaving it the way it is. So my lines are going in the direction of kind of how I'm just kind of, how the page is in front of me. I could keep pivoting, but no reason for that right now. And then I like this green color, so it's pretty. Um, and let's just kind of create a little bit of kind of a, see this kind of scribbliness right now that's coming down from the point of it. These are little mandalas. This book is from my book, Mighty Mandalas. And some of the pages have these pages that have these mini, mini mandalas happening. And then for this outer portion, I'm going to use this light blue and just kind of give it one of these. So I want that white to show up, but again, I'm not pivoting my page. So I'm just kind of leaving the page the way it is in the direction that it is, and then just kind of going like this. Lynn says, Schitt's Creek is an escape from real life. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I like that one. I guess I should add it to my list like Bonnie's doing. Trish says, after about two seasons, some of the stars of the show that have managed to complete the course at least once or twice have opened gyms. Really? Each season is a new course with almost the old diehards and always new stars. At Akbar something or other, some of the other football announcers MC the show. Am I thinking of the same one, Trish? I'm thinking, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Is it the one that takes place outdoors? Or does it take place indoors? Because I'm thinking of, well, I'm thinking of one that takes place outdoors, which is the obstacle course. And the other one I'm thinking of takes place indoors. Do you know which one I'm talking Do you know the difference between the two? Okay, now we've got this, um, this section here, but I'm going to go back in with the pink because I want pink to kind of have my eye move. But just kind of creating that little bit of a, just like the edges of the lines are creating a little bit of a texture. So 
So you can place something underneath the page like we did with these two, or you can do use just the actual pen. American Ninja Warrior started, Warrior started in 2009 in the G4 network and came mainstream. And yes, that is the one I'm talking about. And then I'm talking about the other one, which I cannot remember the name of it. Have you ever seen the other one too, Trish? Could you imagine? I think I would, I would, well, I would be dead. <laughs> Let's just face facts. I mean, the, some of the, the things that they do are just like incredible, you know? So just kind of up with this one there we go and then we've got so see that kind of created the texture especially with the lines that are not i mean the, the white space i thought i had yellow could it be this does not have yellow how weird that is very weird that it doesn't have yellow all right for the next one i'm going to do um create a texture with some duet drawing pencils Let's see if i can get in here um, I've got this ivory black color. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. Um, what else do I have? Thank you, Bonnie Hughes. It looks better on camera than it does in person. All right, this one is terracotta. And let's see if we can create a texture with this. We usually use these, I use these pencils for wood grain. Um, but we could actually kind of create a texture where coloring this lighter. And then if I go back in with my ivory black, I can create maybe some other from the texture. Let's see what happens. Let's just, let's just see how it goes. All right, now I'm going to go back in with ivory. I felt like that was a little loose. And just kind of scribble it on. And then adds maybe this ivory black. This is a really nice black, actually. I think I would, I would actually uh, go to the, use this pencil if I was coloring something and I needed to use um, a black colored pencil. I think I would definitely... Um, I would, I would grab this pencil. And then we've got this color, which is called Sanguine. And for this one, let's do the same type of thing like we did here. And just that dark section in the, um, like towards the middle, kind of being a little jagged and then kind of a light pressure will actually create a little bit more of a texture. So texture doesn't have to be something you can feel, it can be something you can see. Does that make sense? Especially in the coloring world. There was a deer on my lawn last night, Alice was saying, and Melody went chasing after the deer. Oh no, Cleo likes to find bugs and play with them, my crazy animals. Oh my goodness. My dogs do crazy things too like that. It's always like a, an adventure, isn't it, Alice? This one's called chocolate. And let's do kind of a, um, a light pressure here. And then kind of scribble it on a little bit. Light pressure. And then kind of scribble it on. That's gonna be a new, a new technique. We should have a new technique called scribble it on.
And then I'm going to go with this terracotta color here. Again, heavy pressure and then light. Heavy pressure and then light to kind of make it look like it has a little bit of a... Um, and I'm kind of changing it around as I... Yes, I know I forgot this one. It really doesn't look like chocolate to me. Scribble it on. Lots of diversity with texture and coloring, isn't there? I agree with you, Mary. So heavier pressure here and then up to here. Heavier pressure here and then up to here. And that's it. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Um, so four different ways of creating texture uh, with the same mandala. I know we are, Rosie. You are right. We're going to dazzle our, our mandalas and impress. The, uh, the, we're the cool kids. That's why. Right? The rest of the kids are going to be jealous. They're going to say, what is happening? Um, I want to give you guys the link to the uh, free page from the gnome book. My gnome book. Let me tell you about my gnome book. My gnome book, um, I have to give a shout out to Alice because Alice has been, Alice is the one who said to me, you should do a gnome book. You should do a gnome book. And I kept saying, I'm not really sure about drawing gnomes. And she kept saying to me, but you do such a good job drawing gnomes. And Alice, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I haven't said it personally to you, thank you for uh, helping me out with the gnome book because she's been uh, really encouraging me and moving me along with that book. So it's finished, it just needs to be scanned. Um, I scanned some stuff uh, last night or yesterday and realized that um, there were some errors or they don't look like I want them to look. So I need to go back in and scan more. So I'll be scanning, uh, I don't know, today, tomorrow, I'm not sure, and hopefully get the book out on um, Amazon. So here's a, um, a page for you. Here's a free uh, page from my new book, Gnomes. And um, you can post it on groups and say it's coming to Amazon this week. The PDF hopefully will be done sooner than the, um, the book itself. But just bear with me with it because there was, I don't know what happened. It was just like a scanning mess is what it was. Okay, so quick color along today, right? But let's talk about um, color along volume 15 again, just so I, for anyone who may have uh, popped in a little later. We begin on September 21st. If you've got this book and you want to be added to my uh, personal email list for this, not really like an official email list because you don't have to be on it. So um, you can just send me a message and let me know. We're done with color along 14. I cannot even believe... I finished 14 volumes of this. Well, we finished 14 volumes of this. Incredible. Uh, we learned a lot. Oil pastels. This was another textures with lines. We worked with markers with this one. Uh, 3D colored pencils and wood grain technique. Um, we did this with 20 colors, warm colors. Uh, this one was a pop art style. Here's colored pencils with highlighters which I think I used the marker that day because I couldn't find my highlighters. Mixed media, the bolding technique, grayscale with just two colors, colored pencils with grayscale, chalk pastels. Um, yeah, I'm excited about the book too. I, it looks really cute actually. I have my, um, I can show you my, my drawings. They're not clean. They, they're still kind of messy if anyone's interested in um having me flip through the pages to let me know if I'll I'll grab the, the pack the stack of pages shading with colored pencils um, gel pens and um, pointillism so we are moving on with that October 25th to 31st is coloring camp excited about that this Wednesday will be the skin tones tech uh, coloring workshop that's going to be fun and if anyone is interested in um, private art lessons just let me know I have information for everybody finally and what else, what other questions can I answer for you today?
lot of interest in that gnome book. I'm just really like truly humbled that there's that much interest in that book. Okay, so hopefully everyone has a great day today. Crazy Monday, right? Great way to start a, 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 day, a Monday actually with um, a free coloring page. Why not, right? I can't see, wait to see what you do with those pages, Alice. Okay, I will see everyone on Wednesday, hopefully. So take a look at the link that's in the, um, the YouTube link. And I'll pop a link onto Facebook also so that we know where to find everybody. When you, you know where to, we all know where to find each other, I guess. And um, I'll see everyone on Wednesday for the skin tone coloring uh, workshop. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.